Hi guys, you might remember in a previous video I set up this rat trap powered car for Andy to pull a weight so that it hits the car and the momentum of the weight hitting the car pushes the car forwards to see how far we could go. And with it set up like this, as the rat trap pulls the weight forwards, the car tries to go backwards at the same time because we've got equal and opposite forces. So what Andy wanted me to do was put some sort of brake mechanism on the wheels to stop them rolling backwards so that all the momentum went forwards. I don't know if that makes any sense. So we didn't lose any of the momentum by the, the car moving backwards as the weight came forwards. So we're tricking the equal and opposite. We're stopping it going backwards so that when it hits the car all it can do is go forwards. So what I'm going to do is what I did in the first video which was brace the back of the car so it can't roll backwards and then allow the rat trap to pull the weight forwards and project the car forwards. To brace the back of the car I've got a large transformer here this comes out of a microwave oven so this is another use of things I can do with old bits from a microwave oven. I've got a bit of wood on front of it so that we can put the car up against it so that will stop the car rolling backwards so the weight will be pulled forwards the car can't go backwards so when the weight hits the car the car will go forwards Okay, what I'll do is I'll use one of these drink stirrers to mark where the front wheels are, or the front axle anyway. That's not far off two metres I suppose, although we need to take, take away the length of the car so yeah, a meter and a half. We'll measure it in a minute. All right. One of the problems we had there is the weight is actually dragging on the floor. So that's slowing the car down so it's not getting its full potential distance. But I've had an idea. I'm going to try a bit of a redesign here. The weight is now laying on top on a bit of card here. So when it gets pulled forwards, it should hit the back of the rat trap and stay on board so it won't be dragging on the floor, slowing the car down. Well, that went much further, didn't it? the marker. I'll go and get my tape measure. Just had one of those talking to myself moments. The battery had gone on the camera. Right, from the back of the car to the front axle it's about 60 centimetres. So the first mark was 170. So the car actually travelled 110, and the second mark was 370, so the car travelled, well, another 2 metres, so 310 centimetres in total. So we tripled the distance by 
putting the weight so it stayed on top of the car.